Hey everyone, this is Jonathan from Leica with another video on Cyclone 3DR. Today's video I want to go over the real color option and scalar steps option for doing our cleaning and separating. So the tools are on the clean tab. And I've just got a, a stockpile data set here. I picked this data set just because it's got similar colors, um, but there is some color variation in the aggregate that's here. So we should be able to separate some of that out. Uh, this is just a sample data set that we use for stockpiles. So we've got a lot of contours in here. We can just turn that off uh, because what I want to show you just is for point cloud segmentation purposes. So this, the first tool was the real color tool. That tool was one that I would use typically for separating, like maybe trying to pull out vegetation, or let's say that you have maybe road signs or some people in the scans that are wearing uh, safety reflective. Those are all times that you might be able to isolate some color and then, uh, and then remove it or separate it as you see fit. So the way the tool works is first we select the point cloud, Let's bring my outliner back, and then we select the real color option for splitting. It's right by these scissors here on the clean tab. So we have a couple different options the way we use it. We can either manually enter an RGB value. I typically don't do too much of that uh, because you can just select this uh, color swatch here and then you can just pick Point. You can see it updates. It's just an eyedropper. It just updates whatever color that you click on. So if I wanted to remove this, uh, this sort of beige tan aggregate here, then I can select that and then tell it that uh, I want to split those, those points out. The only setting that you have here that you uh, should alter is the tolerance. So basically what this does is sort of sets a width of color values on the RGB palette that, that 3DR will accept. Uh, in this case, I'll show you what strict would look like. You can see there we've got 1,800 points extracted. Then if I increase it, we've got 99. And you can see it's selecting a lot more points across there. So it's selecting all of these points that are within that value. So I really don't want to remove all that. I maybe just want to keep on adjusting my slider, and this is kind of how you work with this tool. So you can see where that would be useful, but in this case, maybe we want to remove vegetation. So I would, I would imagine that you know we might have some vegetation on the side of the hill or, or, what, or what have you there. We can use this tool to increase how strict we're going to be with that filter. Now that's way too much see what it's detecting here and then we can remove that and you'll see what it does is it splits out those points so I can turn off that vegetation so if I wanted to isolate certain objects we could do it that way now the other way that we could do um, some splitting here would be to isolate by scalar steps now right now we don't have any real scalar steps basically what what would be split right now if we use scalar steps was the intensity values so you could use this to split by intensity values, and that might be useful, say, if you have uh, paint lines on a roadway. Uh, that might be something that you want to use here. Or you can use inspection values after we do some uh, alterations to the point cloud. So I'm just going to do a quick one here. Where we do an analysis. We'll do a long direction. We'll do it on the z-axis just to give an elevation heat map. And then I'm going to split this uh, into regular centered or regular steps. So now what I can do, after I've got these colors applied to my inspection layer, is I can select my cloud group here. Where is my cloud group? Stockpile cloud here, and then I can go back to my clean tab, and then I can use scalar steps. You can see what that does is it actually splits each one of these individual values out into its own point cloud, and then it tells me the value that it was um, elevation values that it was split from on each one. So now I can actually go through and isolate. Let's say if I just wanted this band of elevation, I could uh, do a show only, and then I just have that particular band that I can work with here or export. So those are just a couple of different ways that you can uh, filter your point clouds uh, with uh, based on their color or based on their uh, inspection steps. So I hope you found this helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.